taking on a construction tractor five-time welterweight champion Floyd Money Mayweather helped break ground this week for a new sports arena on the Las Vegas Strip. The 20,000-seat, $375 million arena will go up near the New York, New York, and Monte Carlo casinos. Floyd Mayweather will be very much in the spotlight again tonight in Las Vegas. The unbeaten champ takes on Argentina's Marcos Maidana for the WA, WBA welterweight title at the MGM Grand. It will air on Showtime pay-per-view, a division of CBS. Mayweather is guaranteed $32 million for the fight, which help explains why his nickname is Money. Last year alone, Mayweather earned close to $100 million, making him number one on Sports Illustrated's list of the world's richest athletes. But he could be up to worth a billion dollars. Joe Favorito is a professor of sports marketing at Columbia University here in New York. Joe, good morning. Good morning, guys. I heard someone say he's not just rich, he's jet rich. I mean, how? what does that mean and how rich is this guy? He's, when you look at that list and you've got people like LeBron James on the list and Tiger Woods, he's at the top of the list because he controls his brand. Everything that goes into the Mayweather business, Floyd has control of. What's interesting here to me is that traditionally in the past, the big, big earning boxers have been the heavyweights, mm -hmm. and he's not, obviously. Uh, so how has he done it? He, unlike, you remember Apollo Creed when we watched Rocky for the first time, where Apollo sat there and he controlled everything. He controlled the flowers. He picked his opponent. That's what Floyd Mayweather does. Every revenue stream that comes in, he's one of the few people, the few athletes that actually have control of everything that goes into his business. That's the big difference. There's no middleman. That's really fascinating to think. So, because, I mean, you're, the takeaway from that is that he picks who he's fighting against. Yep. He picks where it's going to happen. Does he pick his own paycheck then if he wins or loses? He sets it up with a promoter. Um, he figures out how much he's going to make. He controls the pay-per-view, which is very, very lucrative in boxing. He controls the venue. He controls all the other revenue streams that go into everything that makes up Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather. He's 37 years old. Yep. How much longer can he do this? <laughs> as long as he can pick his opponents. I mean, we've seen fighters go into their 40s who have been successful. Um, it's really up to him and how engaged he's going to be going forward. Uh, um, you know, he'll have other fights coming up. You know, everyone has said that they'd love to see him fight Manny Pacquiao at some point. That's going to be a really big number if it ever happens. But it doesn't have to happen for Floyd to continue to make the money that he's making. How did he figure out that this, I mean, this was like a niche no one else mm. had. How did he mastermind what he's managed to accomplish? He listened to a lot of other people. He saw the mistakes that were made from other boxers. And, and arguably, you've got, you know, boxers out there who've been out there for years whose estates are really, really valuable, but they don't control everything. George Foreman, Muhammad Ali, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, you know, he figured out at an early point that he had to surround himself with really smart people and figure out how to control all the things that make up what, what Floyd Mayweather's all about. Let's talk about tonight's fight. We mentioned he's going to make... Uh, $32 million. Does he get that whether he wins or loses? He gets that whether he wins or loses, and it will go up depending on the pay-per-view. There was a little bit of a controversy stirred up yesterday about the boxing gloves. Uh, so that's hopefully going to get more people to turn in. The more people who buy the fight, the more people who go and watch it on closed circuit, the more money he's going to make. I want to ask you about his personal life, though, because sure. he's been involved in several domestic violence cases. Mm -hmm. He's even served jail time. Mm -hmm. How has none of that affected his empire? Well, I think it's affected him in some ways, but he's also been very resilient, and he's addressed things straight up. He never sugarcoats who he is. Um, you know, there were, there were instances with, with women that he's been involved with, and he kind of tells it the way it is. He's straight out there, and I think that's reflective, and the fans really like that. He's, um, he, he said uh, earlier this week that he's interested in buying the Clippers. Everybody's interested in buying the Clippers. <laughs> right. Is that a possibility, do you think? Uh, it's very interesting. I think, you know, when you're an individual athlete, you have control over everything. When you go to a team sport, there is revenue sharing, so you don't have as much control. Could Floyd Mayweather be part of a, a conglomerate that puts together something to buy the Clippers? Maybe. I think the money is going to come from outside the United States. I don't think you're going to see just an American buyer, and it's certainly not going to be one individual who's going to buy the Clippers if and when it happens. I mean, he does have a condo next to Staples Center, and he's a courtside fixture, so maybe it's a possibility. But what's next for this guy? I mean, is there any arena he has not conquered? Uh, I think you're going to continue to see social media grow. Uh, you're going to see the licensing grow. You know, I'm sure he'll probably get more and more into promoting other fighters who are going to be involved and other sports. He's talked about mixed martial arts and getting involved on the, on the, on the, not on the fighting side, but on the promoting side. You know, when you're, you're a brand like Floyd Mayweather, you can touch on a lot of things. Think about all the products that he could endorse if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. Joe Favorito, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, guys.